Now, there is a crease on the cloth, as well as these curves. There's quite a strong crease, and that is just above this part. So I take it from where my, I'm drawing my line in the air up, and I notice that it's going off at that sort of angle. It's a good idea to draw anything that's behind. It helps you relate, because I can actually bring a line across and see if that contact actually relates. And it does, it meets up with there. It's a lovely feeling when they meet up. And then we go across and see what comes further over. Now, we have this mushroom um, here in relation to an onion which is going off. And if I run a line across, it really does hit the top there. These are splayed back. And I'm not really bothered about getting them exactly as I see them at this stage. I'm just saying to myself, this is what happens. So these are the positions I want for later. And then we've got that radiation coming again there. And the top of the onion is actually above these, where that bit finishes. And then we've got the dead skin coming out above that. And we can go up and out. And I also notice that this side of the onion is still travelling up. And there again, I can run my line across and it's producing a tiny little shape there. And that's the important thing because I can run my line across there and I know that from that little shape, I've got to go slightly above it, no more than that, before turning round. And that'll give me the height of that one. And then this one curves round. And I want to know where they meet. So I run it across again and they meet just below here. So I pull that line across and that's where they must meet and I gently now make it work. Now I can bring the curve in. How high is this area where we have the root? It comes along and it hits there. So if I run back from there I know where the root comes and I've got a little dark shape. So whereas in some places I've had light shapes, here I've got a dark shape and here the feeling of the tone being brought down on that terracotta area and the light hitting that flat plane. And into that, I've got the mushroom coming up and imposing on that area. Noticing where that comes, just below that area there. Finding form over here. Lovely little area here of interest because I'm actually looking for shapes all the time. I'm not just thinking there's an onion or there's a mushroom, I'll draw it. I'm just looking for shapes between all the time and trying to get interesting relationships. And I'm feeling that again, that curves round and I've got the feeling of these radiating out. Keep them quite loose at the moment. And this actually is the end of things happening with that carrot. It starts to get narrower. Here I'm noticing actually that I should have brought that back a bit because I want to see another little shape there and in order to see that shape I've got to tuck that back because that shape is going to give me my drop line which also relates to the top there and I drop down and that's going to give me where that part of the carrot changes and we have a dark behind here, which I can put in with directional strokes. Sometimes I'm putting my hand in one position and changing it as I go around to follow the form. It's very important to really become involved with the form and the shape. I have a point here where the other carrot's going to meet and I want to know what it relates to. I run a line up and it hits there. So I run a line down and then I know exactly where that carrot comes in relation to it and it travels up and curves out and then I can turn around again to get it going in that direction. And I know now that it's going to come thinner. So I'm not actually going to draw round a carrot, I'm going to look at a shape between and feel my way round the form, tuck in, look at the way one thing comes away from another, where I've got a little dark shape that will help and shadow areas that really follow the surface shape and give me interest. And there's another shadow that comes down there. And actually this goes up 
to meet that. If it got too complicated, I would put a line out, draw on the side, or write a little note to myself. Later on, remember to separate here or do something there. So now I'm going to find out about this area and the side of that stem comes out here, that sort of distance from the onion. So I run that down and I know that that's where the side comes. And I can still get the feeling of this radiating out. I'm not going to go completely round it. I want to become conscious first of all that that is a stem. So again, directional. And I notice the shape at the top there and pull down. And how much can I see there in relation to how much I see over here? And the sort of shape of that, and then they're coming out again. This mushroom is coming below the carrot, and the carrot actually is doing an odd thing. It's curving, letting me see more of this area. And I want to see a little shape in between there. That's exciting me there, and a few gills coming down. And then I must be conscious that this is following round again and giving me a dark behind because there's quite a strong shadow coming in here and that is going to join up with that one there and I'm coming down. I want to know how low to go so come across, get that line and quite often it's good to just look at a point like that and if I do that as I'm looking, if it coincides I know that's it and then these go out and they radiate up the other side this has got to relate to where it comes out there and it comes out at this point. So I run across and make sure that's where it stops and then I can start joining them together. And I know that this piece of terracotta is coming up. I'm looking at a shape between now, the light shape that I can see there. And I'm feeling that strong shadow as it comes up. And how high is that piece? It cuts off the top there. So I know that that's the height I want to come before I start curving again and look at the relationship again. I'm going up and down now with the lines so that I feel that strong flat area behind and then that comes down and curves round. That's giving me that nice little shape starting off onto another crease because this onion is just behind that and the height of that onion is cutting off a little shape again. And there, that little shape a small shape there that's vital and that'll help me place that onion, bring it out and start finishing off the mushroom because I want to see that shape come behind and know where they meet and that meets just below here. So if it's below that, run it across, make sure that they do correspond and then that one comes out there, that one comes back and I can feel my way round these flaps. Again, I'm not too bothered if they're not exactly in the right position at this stage. I'm just trying to get the feeling of it coming round. 